Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make TikTok videos using Camtasia. Now, most of the TikTok videos that I make, I use my iPhone and it's just set up vertically and I upload directly to TikTok right from my phone. They make it pretty easy to do that. However, there are quite a few times where I want to either blur out sensitive information or it's a tutorial and I want to make sure and highlight different buttons that people will push. And when I do it that way, it's so much easier to use Camtasia. And one of the things that I really like too is I can tweak just a couple little things in the video like the intro and make it into a YouTube Shorts. So then I kind of, you know, get the best of both worlds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into how to do that. And first of all, if you have a Mac, you probably know that you can film the video right here on your phone and then just airdrop it onto your Mac. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, film a quick video clip so I can walk through exactly how to do that. All right, here we are on the computer and I've opened Camtasia and I just wanna walk through exactly how easy it is to use Camtasia to make TikTok videos. What I'm gonna do right now is I am going to send the video over from my phone to my Mac and then I'm going to put it right into Camtasia. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've airdropped the video that I made on my phone over to my Mac and now I'm just going to take that right from the desktop and drag it right into here and as you can see it's automatically loaded. Now what I do is just take it and put it down here. I'm going to drag this and I'm going to put it into track one right there and this is simply the video that I made and one of the things that's kind of nice is I can simply get right to the beginning of the video here i can add different things but then all i'm going to do is press play here all right here we are and what i'm going to do is just film a short about 15 second video that way you can see exactly all right i won't make you go through all of that but i want to get into the editing because that's where i really feel that camtasia is so powerful and what i mean by that is i can go right over here and I can go to annotations and I can take this and I can drag it right down. I can put it right on top right there. Let me try that again. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this screen just a little bit. All right. Normally I use a little bit bigger screen when I'm doing all the editing, but from here I can simply go in and create maybe a couple second intro. And from here, I just click on this. It's quite simple. And I'm just going to write in TikTok. And after I do that, I'm going to go to properties here. And I want to change the actual call out. I'm going to make that just for this video. We're going to turn that to black. And then instead of a white, I'm going to use red. And then I want to go back and I'm going to change that from a gray to we're going to go with a pure white right there and I want to expand it a little bit right there. I just highlight the words and then I can expand like that. And voila, it's literally that easy. I can take and drag that right in there and that can be used as one of my labels during my video and it looks like this here. I just hit play. And then it disappears. If I want to have transitions, this is really cool. I a lot of times I like them to come in and out of the screen. So for instance, I'm going to make this one slide right, right here. So as you see, I'll hit play or the space bar and it slides right in there and right out. If I want to make that a little bit longer, then I just extend the duration right there. It slides in and once again slides out. I really like that. I can even change one of these if you notice my cursor is right down here and I'm instead of slide right I'm going to use a slide left just for something different. Now when you watch All right, here we are. it goes in that way and back out to the right. So that really helps with making titles and everything and, and just making it look so much better 
Uh, and then another thing that I like to use, I'm going to go back to annotations and right here along the top, these call outs right there is a blur effect. And from here, let's say I want to blur some sensitive, some sensitive information and I am going to actually use it to blur me. So there's the blur. Let's say I'm going to blur my eyes right there, right? So now they're blurred and I'm going to put that blur right at the end of here. So once again, hitting the space bar or play, it looks like this. All right, here we are. And what I'm going to do is just film a short about. And as you know, it just blurred my eyes. And if there's any text, let's say I want to take this and actually move it up over here and blur the text, I can do that as well. So that way I can take this blur and put it right here, there, one second. Put my TikTok. It's a little bit tougher to do um, because I'm using such small space here i usually make it a lot bigger but once again i can put that there and now i've blurred it out i'm only going to blur it out half the time by simply moving this a little less so then it looks like this here hit spacebar or play and it's blurred now i remove the blur and there it is now the other thing that i really like to do is i like to use these call outs here and I really use this one quite a bit and I'll show you why I'll take this here and I'll put it in right there and what I'm gonna do is with this if I want to highlight something what I'll do is come over here and I can choose whether I want an octagon a rectangle I typically use this here and maybe even change it into a circle but I'm going to change the opacity to zero. Now it's see-through. I like to use red because it shows up so much better in the videos. And then I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker around the edges so that people can really see in that TikTok video that I want them to look right here at whatever piece of information that is. And then I can just hit copy and paste. And then I can move it over up here once again it's much easier when i don't have such a small screen to work with but you get the idea so what we're going to do here is this next one i'm going to move this just over to here so when we finish this up here's what it looks like all right here we are use the blur effect do is just film a short about 15 second video highlight an area Highlight another area. It's really that easy. The next thing I would do is simply save this project and then I would take and uh, share it. And I'll share it as a local file right here on my Mac and then upload it or airdrop it to my phone to upload it to TikTok. It really is that simple. And I just love Camtasia for that flexibility. I can do really uh, intricate screen changes and I can be standing in front of the camera and whether it's change clothes without moving, that type of thing, I can do all of that editing right here within Camtasia. But below I'm gonna leave a, a link for you and uh, you can check it out, see if it's something that you like. They allow you to store, put it, uh, if you buy a license, allow you to put it on a couple different computers, and I found that handy. So if I'm on the road and I have my laptop and I'm just doing short videos, I can do that. Uh, I also have it installed on my iMac so that I can do much more in-depth videos because it takes more memory, that type of thing. If you have any questions on any of this, leave a comment down below. You can check out my TikTok channel. I will uh, leave a link to that. You can see I've had, gosh, at the time of this video, over 40 million views on my videos and close to 700,000 uh, followers. So 
This works really, really well. Hey, once again, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you to decide whether you want to use Camtasia for TikTok videos. I'd love it. Hit it. I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Make it a great day.